Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel. Guys, I'm super happy today because I saw some massive news. Bio Nano Genomics is up almost 6% today. It went flying, oh, over 6% now. The C19 testing services at BioNano Laboratories. We are using the Abbott Binex Now C19 AG card. This is an FDA approved lateral flow test. And apparently the US government, the federal government is spending nearly $1.2 billion purchasing 187 million rapid C19 tests from Abbott Laboratories. Now apparently these are hard to find and Joe Biden is betting big on them. Apparently some large commercial testing labs like LabCorp is actually delivering 150,000 tests daily. In this article by the time of India stating that um, the US government is going to purchase 280 million rapid tests and as we can see here again Abbott Laboratories the country's largest rapid test maker is currently producing tens of millions of Binax Now tests per month and working to increase capacity in coming weeks and actually just recently the New York Times said that they shut down some laboratories over the summer they laid off employees and destroyed some testing components. But this article by MassDevice.com is claiming that Abbott is reopening Illinois facility to make more C19 tests. They're desperately hiring a number of people to try and cope with the demand and they have to act quickly to scale up again. This article from SF Chronicle is stating that the Binax Now test by Abbott Laboratories comes in a two test kit and it's sold for $23.99. In September 8th, the Royal Caribbean blog was stating that Royal Caribbean Cruise Line is actually also selling C19 test kits. They are the Abbott Binax now test kits. Abbott Laboratories is a huge medical device company. They're currently bringing in, or in 2020, they brought in $34.6 billion. In March, 360DX also published this article stating that Abbott Laboratories partnered with the Association of Public Health Laboratories, and this partnership was to transfer results from its Binax Now C19 rapid antigen test to US public health agencies. So lots of different organizations are also utilizing this Abbott test, such as schools and universities. And on the CDC website, the Centers for Disease control and prevention they stated this about schools because they're going back to in-person learning they're stating that young people should be getting tested specifically saying that children under 12 years old who are not able to get vaccinated against c19 should be getting tested regularly and apparently this is for outbreak prevention and finding out who has the virus early means you can stop an outbreak or prevent c19 from spreading with the cdc we're also looking at the overview and they're stating anybody with uh, c19 symptoms should have a diagnostic test and regardless or not if you've had a vaccination you should be regularly testing and some of these symptoms they're so generic like having a new continuous cough you could cough because of asthma you could cough because you have bronchitis or chest infection so i reckon there's going to be a lot of testing going on and with c19 with this outbreak and this pandemic they estimated that the global c19 diagnostics market size was 84.4 uh, billion us dollars in 2020 and they believe this is going to continue to grow by 3.1 percent between 2021 and 2027 so with the government reportedly spending millions up to billions as per chicago Chicago business stating you know they're going to spend 1.2 billion dollars purchase 187 million rapid c19 tests from abbott laboratories is bio nano genomics going to see a slice of that cake with the bio nano laboratories and also if we look at the terminology it's uh, cleared by the fda for emergency use only so does this mean in the event of an outbreak or is emergency use for anybody that has symptoms within a school or within a public place within a military base within a university if somebody is you know query c19 does that count as an emergency emergency use because if so any slight cough a raise in temperature or a loss of taste or smell uh, ideally the person should be getting diagnostic testing so will this reflect in bio nanogenomics revenue that is coming up will this be a way for us to also cash flow get that cash money in bio nanogenomics is roaring today i want to know your thoughts and feelings let me know drop me some comments down below and tell me if you've seen this news and what you think about it so i'm thinking if somebody has symptoms of c19 are they just going to be told to go home go off work and then get um tested within a lab is that how it's going to work or are they going to be giving these tests on site and will these then be sent to laboratories because rapid tests lateral flow tests as i know it it's made available on the spot you can check within like 15 to 30 minutes and here in the uk we can pick them up at any pharmacy these are free to get so how does it work within the us if you're in the united states please let me know i hope you enjoy this content remember none of this is financial advice and i just want to thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me throughout the time that i've been on youtube if you're able to support the channel please do i'm currently doing some research into some of the customers that have bio nanogenomic sapphire what they've been up to what they're specializing in and what they're working on currently thank you so much for watching if you want to drop me a donation please click the paypal link in my description box always remember to watch out for the scammers in the comments i will never give you a number in the comments i love all my bingo cowboys and i'm gonna see you in the next episode baby mr investor lot over and out baby